An elderly Knoxville widow pleading for someone to help fix her damaged home in the Lonsdale community. You know, a tree fell on it the same day as a tornado swept through a neighborhood in West Knoxville. Six on your site, consumer investigator Don Dare got a first-hand look at the house. Don. Well, Bo, fortunately, the owner of the home was not there when the bad weather hit. The storm was so violent in early August that it blew down a big tree next to Rosa Pascal's home in Lonsdale, where she's lived for over 20 years. The tree fell right in her house, splitting it in half. This is the gutter. It came up the half up, up to the top. Rosa Pascal's house is badly damaged. This blue tarp covers a huge hole where the roof caved in after a tree smashed into the side of her house on August 7th. Inside are shattered beams, scattered installation, and what is left of Mrs. Pascal's belongings. Everything is down on my bed. If I was in there, I don't think I would have lived through it. There is a hole in the ceiling of a smaller bedroom next to the master bedroom. Her kitchen cabinets were pulled away from the wall as a result of the tree's violent fall. Where is your bed there? Can you see it? A little bit. You can just see the bed cover. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. And that's the whole ceiling that's collapsed. Oh, um, would have came down on me. Mrs. Pascal said her late husband always managed the details regarding their home. He died in 2014. And you and your husband had? Everything paid. Everything was paid on the house? Yes. How about homeowner's insurance? No, I did not have it. You did not have it? He had it, but at the time, I didn't know how to go through the paperwork and all. Rosa's daughter was in tears when she saw the extensive damage to her mother's home. Well, I'm glad she wasn't in the house because the tree, everything would have fell on top of her if she was in the house. And I'm like, what is she going to do? This is where she lived. This is all she has. And right now, she's like basically homeless. This stump is the only thing left of the toppled tree that hit Rosa's house. The tree was on property next to her home where two mobile homes are going up. The tree also hit the trailer closest to her home. There's a new trailer in its place. But the tree, when it hit, it hit the one that they done tore down. It hit it on the front end and straight into my house. The damage to Mrs. Pascal's house happened on August 7th, the same day as a tornado swept through West Knoxville and the Lovell Crossing apartment complex. The Federal Emergency Management Agency has approved disaster relief for Knox County and several other counties just recently. But the Tennessee Emergency Management Agency says individuals cannot apply for relief money to repair damage to homes like Mrs. Pascal's. I just want my house back and I want to feel good at the age of 68. Please help me. Yeah, since Mrs. Pascal is unable to live in her home, she's been staying with friends and family since August the 7th. The major disaster declaration approved for Knox County and nine other counties in East Tennessee makes federal funding available to local governments and to certain private nonprofit organizations for emergency work and repairs. No relief money goes to individuals, we were told. Rosa says she'll continue to live with her friends and family, hoping eventually to move back into her home if it can be repaired. Well, Let's hope it can. Don, thank you. If you have a consumer question for Don, take a moment, send him an email at ddare at wat.com or give him a call, 865-633-6923.